أخت سوفانا. Mrs. Sofana, in which language are you going to express yourself? I will stop insisting on you to speak in your own languages. From your own point of view, how can you monitor? Uh, for example, we have talked at the beginning about establishing the partnerships between the society, between private sector and youth. How can you monitor this linkage between these partnerships and the follow-up of these partnerships? Uh, I just want to emphasize on one point. Development is a process, and process needs time. And we have to be patient to, to see the fruit of the alliance of civilization. I have, one, I have been lucky enough to be one of the people that really privileged from, from this in a great initiative. As, as a civil society, as a founder of an organization that, that functions in a civil society, and as a, uh, a participant or as a fel alumni of the fellowship program of the Alliance of Civilization. Uh, I'm going to share with you my personal experience as a fellow in the Alliance of Civilization. <coughs> Twelve of the emerging <coughs> Arab leaders were from different professional backgrounds. We have taken a journey together to explore and understand the Western culture. We have the, the, our, pre, uh, the, our preconceived idea is for us to go and learn about the West. But during that journey, we learned about each other. We learned the art of listening. We learned and to understand each other and to understand others. And we started breaking stereotypes. We thought that we never had stereotyping, but during our journey as Arab among to, together, we had so much stereotyping going on. And by the end of the journey, we've created a, a lot of bonds and little bridges between us. And we've created, we started constructing the bridges that once was there that, that transmitted civilization from the heart of, of the Middle East to all, all over the world. And that has also got a lot of knowledge and, and trade. What we had, what we, I, what I personally understood from that person, it was a personal growth journey. And in the same time, I have, a, I have appreciated my individuality and the uniqueness of my individuality within the unity of a bigger mission. So that is, my per that is one of the results of the Alliance of Civilization. And I believe that the fellowship program should be funded and should be increased. And we should allow for more cultures to interact together. I am going to try to follow up on your idea in one way or another. But at the beginning with Mr. Hermes. Mr. Hermes Sofana talked about uh, the stereotypes. You are from a foundation that is concerned with peace. How do you think, for example, that an education sector around the world, in addition, of course, to uh, link it to unemployment, how do you think that education system could or sector could um, bridge the gap, the knowledge gap regarding the stereotypes that we have around the world? start by saying that life is always made of extraordinary things. It happened that this wonderful lady that just spoke came for dinner um, at my home in Paris as part of the experiment. And I learned 10 times more from the 12 of them than I thought I would ever. Because they each spoke about what they were hoping to do and to accomplish in their journey. So now you ask me a question about education. That was education. Education is in fact listening to the other. In this case, I had 12 person from the uh, Middle East uh, that were coming, uh, North Africa, from MENA, and uh, I really learned from each of them something, because I asked them each, what are you trying to get from this uh, trip? Why, why are you thinking that you're going to be able to change something? And the answer that was the most important is that each says, we are changing ourselves. And I think the key there is changing oneself by going somewhere else. And that is part of education. That's the center of education. It's not only what you're being taught by those that are around you, but it's all being taught by the others that are from generally, you don't know, conflicting. They are from another source. They don't have the exact same values you think and whatever. In reality, I found 
that not only values were there, and that they were also dynamic with such a design, like um, just next to me yourself, which I was really impressed. And in fact, yesterday when we met, um, we had a wonderful, extraordinary conversation on the basis that because if you can know the other, and by the way, know better yourself, you are there to change the world. You're there to bring something to the others that people do not find or do not have easily. So my view is that what can be done here, and I think the Alliance is there for that, is for bringing this human side of seeing that the other is part of ourself.